Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications. Censorship or control of the exchange and sharing of information is a coercive way of life in China. The fact of reality is yet again demonstrated as China continues to suppress official information about its casualties in an extremely fatal face-off with India recently. It is reported that Chinese people are venting their exasperation and, and disappointment over the, the lack of reporting about the loss of lives of the Chinese soldiers. Contrasting China, the Indian democracy has revealed its, uh, uh, that, that, that it lost 20 of its soldiers in the hand-to-hand -hand combat with the Chinese troops in the Galvan Valley. Whereas for the families and, and, and friends of the PLA soldiers posted in that region, the situation is still covered in censorship. Censorship in China is implemented uh, or let's say mandated by its ruling party, the Communist Party of China. The government controls and, and filters content for mainly political reasons, as well as to retain its command over the general population. The Chinese government claims that, that it has the legal right you know, to censor the internet's content within the territory and that their censorship, uh, you know, rules do not contravene the citizens' rights to, you know, uh, freedom of speech and expression. The government of China defended some forms of censorship as a way of upholding good morals. It is believed that ever since Xi Jinping became the General Secretary of the Communist Party of China in 2012, censorship has been significantly stepped up. Yes. The government of China holds censorship over all media capable of reaching, you know, a, a, a widespread audience. This includes television, print media, radio, film, theater, text messaging, instant messaging, video games, literature, education sector, and the internet. Alarmingly, the Chinese officials have access to uncensored information through an internal intelligence system. Yes. Reporters Without Borders, an international non-profit and non-governmental organization that safeguards the right to freedom of information, ranks China's press situation as very serious. The worst ranking on their five-point scale. According to them, China has over 2,800 surveillance centers devoted to text messaging. For more than a decade now, cell phone users in Shanghai and Beijing have been running a risk of having their text messaging services cut off if they were found to have sent illegally or, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, beg your pardon, uh, uh, you know, accused to have sent illegal or unhealthy content. Freedom House, US-backed NGO, ranks the press there as not free. The worst ranking saying that state control over the news media in China is, is achieved through a complex combination of party monitoring of news content. Legal restrictions on journalists and financial incentives for, for self-censorship. And an increasing practice of cyber disappearance of material written by or about activist bloggers. China's internet censorship is regarded by many as the most insidious and, and sophisticated in the world. The system for blocking sites and articles is referred to as the Great Firewall of China. They have been unilaterally shutting down hundreds and thousands of domestic international websites. The, the censorship in China has been accused of being, of, of being used not only for political protectionism, but also for economic protectionism. Yes. Uh, Sing, T. Singhwa University professor Patrick Chauvinak has summarized that the Chinese ban on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube may have been done 
you know, in a, in a, in a part to, 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 to grant a business advantage to the Chinese competitors. Likewise, China has been accused of using double standards in attacking Google for obscene content that is also present on Chinese competitor Baidu. In fact, some experts suggest that Chinese businesses such as Baidu, Tencent and Alibaba being the world's, you know, some of world's largest internet enterprises have benefited from the way China has blocked international rivals from the domestic market. Well, I do not think this can go on for long as people in China have already started questioning the government on their callous handling of sensitive matters post this Galvan Valley episode. Yes, people are rising up in China. Thank you and see you again with another episode on Mentor Talk sometime soon. Bye for now. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications.